Hey everybody, here I am. I'm pickup preaching. I'm your pickup preacher. I'm Jesse and I'm preaching a, a program of recovery, man. A program of hope. Get out and do something about your recovery. That is if you're struggling or maybe you were struggling with an addiction, a behavior, a pattern of behaviors, things that get you in some trouble, my friends. Hey, get out of that muck in the mire and get, get unstuck from the things that got us stuck in the first place. And get our life back on track so we can become uh, better people, you know, better citizens, better husbands, better Better wives, better children, better brothers, better sisters. That's, you know, the better employees. Because when you put down the drink or the drug, my friends, you're picking up life again. You're picking up sobriety. You're picking up tools that are going to keep you sober. So that's what recovery is. So when we talk about a plan of attack or when we talk about recovery program, that's what we're talking about. It all encompasses our steps, our principles, everything. Okay? There are limitations though, amen? There are things that we can't do, achieve on our own. So we look for help and and, and, and that doesn't mean that we're, we're incapable or incompetent. It means that we need help, amen? And once in a while that's okay. So if you're a manly man or a, a real woman and you know you think that you don't need help and you can do it on your own, I applaud and I honor that type of that type of outlook or that type of attitude, amen? I used to be like that too and I still am to a degree, but, but, I know when to reach out for help. I le at least I hope I think I do. But when it comes to my relationship with God, then amen, I know how to reach out. And that happens every single day. Every every single day I'm reaching out and asking God for help. Thanking Him, being thankful, being grateful, being mindful, and, 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 and dedicated and committed to the program. Amen. The program of we, the program of recovery, the program of staying sober, abstinence. Amen. Man, I love talking about this thing. I love you guys. Catch you in the next. Hey everybody, welcome back. Hey, hey, what do you think? Huh? A little early for St. Patty's Day, but hey, what do you think? Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No? Yeah? No? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, I'm just kidding. Nah, I'm just kidding. I hope you liked that little video I did before. Hey, man, I'm all about having fun and getting in and being and being goofy and having a, a good time. But you know, where the seriousness lies for me is in this program and seeing other people give up or other people give in, or other people quit. It just, it's so disheartening that it drives me. It drives me to give these messages. So get, look at this, you guys. Look at this. Step two is come to believe that a power greater than yourself could restore you to sanity, okay? Step three is make a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. So check out step 11 is sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood him and, that, and praying only for the knowledge of his will for us and the power to carry that out. So the fundamental basis of our program of recovery is the belief in some power greater than ourselves, okay? Amen. So so let us not take this lightly. We cannot fully get the program without this venture of belief. Okay. So today, meditate on this. He dwell that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Dwell for a moment each day in a secret place, in the place of communion with God, apart from the world, and thence receive strength to face the world again. Okay. Material things cannot intrude upon this secret place. They cannot ever find it because it is outside the realm of material things. So when you abide in this secret place, you are under the shadow of the Almighty. Okay, So God is close to you in this quiet place of communion. Each day, dwell for a while in this secret place. So September 18th, and man, we're rolling along in this month. So this is our Al-Anon uh, One Day at a Time book. Most of us, when we first come into this program, or Al-Anon, have but one idea, sobriety for our alcoholic friend. We learn at once that this is not all of Al-Anon's purpose. We have ourselves to change, and by great good fortune, the changes we can make to improve the environment we live in that the alcoholic will seek sobriety. Okay? We may think all of our problems have been solved when the alcoholic is safely in the program of recovery and sober, so we may feel like we can rest on our oars. Meetings and telephone talks with our Al-Anon friends don't seem so necessary, so this is, a do, this is due to forgetting two basic truths. One is emotional disturbance is one cause of all alcoholism, or sorry, is, is one cause of alcoholism. So this condition can improve as the alcoholic practices the spiritual elements of the program. 
The adjustment period may be long and trying to our patients unless we have Al-Anon friends to help us grow too. Okay, so step two is what we have learned, or uh, second reminder is what we have learned in Al-Anon and all the help that we have received, we must pass along to troubled newcomers in this fellowship uh, that we embraced when we were in trouble. Okay, so if I believe that this life will be rich and rewarding only as I live it with spiritual guidelines, and I know I will always need this program of recovery. So hey, great words of encouragement today. Hope you guys are all staying dedicated and hopeful out there, safe and sober. And if you're struggling and, and you're in the muck and the mire, please reach out. I can help. Uh, otherwise, hey, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. God bless.